boy not YouTube back with another video uh, this is a mail day video um, so this is some of the pickups I, I had um, that I already opened um, some of these uh, just I'll show you uh, I had this I dig this out out of my collection Colin Cabernet rookie found a Teddy Bridgewater Bowman Chrome um, so I'll probably send those in to get uh, graded and then I, I I originally had picked up um, four of these Moki of uh, bets um, first off the line but non, non, uh, non chrome and then the guy sent me um, Send me these four, and then he sent me. I had, I got these before, and then um, he sent me another four. So I hit them back up, um, asked him um, what was up, and he said that he mistakenly just for some reason sent me. So said, yeah, here's the other four. So I ended up paying like I got a pretty good deal on all these. So I actually bought all these from the same guy. So so that's those. And then I Bo Jackson. Um, I don't know. I just thought this was cool rookie card. So that's is that it. Oh yeah, and for some reason, um, I really like the Nate Robinson, so I just thought this was cool, this one as well, so I just picked it up for some reason. Uh, Alright, we'll go into the first package. Ah, uh, shit. Sorry about that. I have no idea what this is. actually waiting for these I got um I believe it's ten of these Bo Jackson I think it's ten of them Those four Actually, no. I'll, I'll put them back after I'm all done. So, yeah, I got 10 of these. They all look pretty good. But, and I actually do have a, a bit more of these that I collected over the years. But let's go on to the next one. Bunch of randoms that I just um, picked up. Some of them are um, prospects. Some of them are just my personal collection. Oh yeah. I don't know. For some reason, I just picked up a bunch of these Hakim Olajuwon. They're all the same ones. Yeah, 
why I did that. I just picked them up probably because of the last dance thing, you know, all those old school cars were going crazy, so that's probably why I picked this up. All right, we'll get into the next package. Uh, this car looks to be over here, so I'll tear it up over here. I already have one of these. I actually have a. Where is it? Um, but. That's probably why I got it really cheap because the corners is not still a bit soft. But. Oh well. But yeah, all of these I got. Pretty good deals on them, so that's why I picked them up. This one's in the so I'll just tear that. Alright, so I got some Scotty Pippins. These are all the same ones, so. sleeps later just because I don't want to make this video longer than it should I was actually waiting for these and oh yeah and then I picked up this um Ronaldo Acuna Heritage I got a um an excellent um and it looks pretty good picked it up for I got a pretty decent price on that so let's get into the next one more monkey bits I know I did I, I know I picked up a couple of these guys so I believe there's oh yeah there's a chrome and, and then a regular one yeah this is the first one I bought and then for some reason the other ones came in first before I got this. This one took a little bit longer to get here but, but that's pretty much it. This is another one. I have no idea what this is. Another Bo Jackson. Oh, yeah. I believe this is the Phenomenon. Well, it's got a. It's part of this, but I think it's phenomenal. Order, I think it is, but I don't know. This I always. I'm not a big fan of the black and white stuff. Um, I do take pictures when I go on vacation and stuff, and it's always um, I like shooting in black and white. So, uh, I don't know. When I was growing up, these were the ones. This this these cars in particular were like very heavily chased and then recently it says thanks for the A-Rod card 1998 Super Chrome Alex Rodriguez Reflector Scott okay I have no idea what Scott is but that's always cool to Just a regular um, baseball card, and it's 
seems to be a I just thought it was cool, but I didn't think it was going to be this big. Look at that monstrosity. Alright, let's get back into the video. I actually thought it was a regular size card. A lot of these are, you know, I just buy a bunch of them, um, and sometimes I just throw them in a stack over here, and it takes days sometimes, or weeks, oh, okay, cool, I think I got two of these. To Jason Dominguez, oh, he should be the next up and coming um, top prospect, prospect baseball player. So I got those um, pretty cheap. Um, they were actually going for a. Uh, double what I picked them up for and then I just pretty much had to pull the trigger and then this is another um, another uh, prospect um, player as well I think I, I don't remember how many I, I got but I got this in a lot and I picked these up individually and Bobby Witt Jr. So let me go ahead and put these in um, in individual sleeves. Probably wondering why I'm like finicking with the cards and stuff. Um, should always grab them on the side like this because your fingers have oil. So, and if you do um, decide to take them in, or well, actually send them in to get graded, um, it's, they're gonna probably see that fingerprints on them and it's it's gonna be a little bit harder for them to actually grade it so you probably lose points so that's probably where when you send them in and you think um, it should be a 10 and you get back a 9 it's probably why because it's it has um, you know your finger grease or whatever it's on the card Something I didn't really think about it, but that's 
something that I actually explained and sometimes something that somebody told me that I should be careful without touching the surface of the card and by doing that um, well this is weird okay so I cut through it but it's, they seem like they folded it So this was one of my favorite basketball players growing up just because he was short and this is an old old top loaders. Mungsy Bogues. If you remember him from Space Jam, this is his rookie card. And earlier I have uh, Nate Robinson. Oh, and then I've been trying to get a Spud Webb rookie card and no dice. have one of these already and then I picked up another one of these Pedro Martinez on um, rookie card Um, Warner Franco so probably send us up so also be sending that in and then the last one well it's not the last one but last one for this video because it's been oh cool hey Zion and don't think that's a scratch it's actually from the tape these hopefully are from the actual table order which I may go ahead and find it, find out I just use scotch tape for this have another one of these oh it's actually just a piece of um it's actually on the card Second uh, Zion card, and uh, the other one is somewhere around here, but I don't want to make the video longer. But pretty much, this guy, Bo Jackson, was probably the the biggest um, lot of it. And then I, know, I think I have another one somewhere around here. There it is. So keep all those together. And Nate Robinson. And then all these um, prospects. And then, yeah, so that's pretty much it. You know. 
hopefully you guys like this if not um, you guys know what to do but <laughs> this is what I'm collecting um, just a random um, beret of uh, cards and different players from different sports um, I will be doing a submit I did a, I did a video of us uh, how do I submit my uh, cards um, for PSA but since they took forever um, I'm gonna try out actually uh, what is it SGC um, they seem like they seem to be the new um, up-and-coming uh, company or submission card um, guys so I'm gonna try them out and see how it goes I signed up already um, it does not cost anything to sign up so not like PSA you actually it costs um, for a yearly submission at 150 and then you get uh, six board shears to send in uh, six cards and then um, if you don't do that then you get there's a second option which is 250 I think or 249 and then you get um, 15 um, submission cards which was pretty much that's pretty much what it costs to actually get all of those graded um, but I don't know to me it felt like I I did it once already um, that they pretty much force you to sign up which um, is like you have to use those uh, brochures um, and I think that's not a very good uh, business thing for them or at least that's what I that's my opinion but um, I may try um, SGC um, like I said it doesn't cost anything um, and they got like very different um, variety of um, turnaround points um, and it's actually a pretty good deal I think um, I think if I submit um, 10 cards, 5 cards, it's like a 10 buck um, for you to get uh, that particular thing on um, PSA, you have to sign up for that like I said and then you have to send at least 25 minimum or up to 50 in modern and, and over here is depending on what the value of the card is, that's what it costs. But I don't know, um, I'm gonna try my luck. I'm actually be picking um, ten cards or five. I'm not sure, and then I'm gonna grade it myself. Um, send them in, see what they come back like, and then hopefully see um, how good of I am from grading cards just by looking at them. I've been I that that first like, mission I sent in, um, I didn't get anything below uh, seven, um, and those I knew because they had a um, pretty bad uh, little nicks and stuff. So I knew that I was taking a risk on that, but I just wanted to send those in just to see. And but yeah, I'll pick out ten cards. I'll send them in and then see what happens. So. Hopefully you guys like this video, if not, you know what to do and then stay tuned for my next one.